This video is inspired by Austin McConnell's X Minutes of Useless Information series. Go check him out, link is in the description. Please subscribe to this channel and let's get into it. The Czech Railway Network uses the standard European track gauge of 1435 mm or 4 feet 8.5 inches. For context, you could fit 7.0625 Costco hot dogs between the tracks or about 0.735 me slaying on my back. The Czech Republic has four main train operators, the main České dráhy and the private Regiojet, Arriva and Leo Express. České dráhy controls an overwhelming market share, with about 81.7% of the market under their control. Regiojet is second, with 5.74% of the market. Arriva is third with 5.24% and Leo Express is way behind with 1.46%. The national train operator, České dráhy, has three classes of service. Most trains have the regular second and the more comfortable first class. However, some long-distance trains, most notably the railjet services to Berlin and Vienna, have an extra class, called business class. I've been considering making a video reviewing all the classes of České dráhy. Let me know if you'd like to see it. České dráhy sells three main types of discount passes for frequent travelers. The first is the IN25, offering a 25% discount on tickets, costing 490 Czech crowns or 19.5 euros per year. The next is IN50, offering a 50% discount for tickets, costing 3,190 Czech crowns per year or 127.3 euros per year. The last is the IN100, offering unlimited travel on all České dráhy trains for a year costing 21,990 Czech crowns or 878 euros per year. The Czech railway system uses four types of electrification, mainly either 3 kV DC and 25 kV 50 Hz AC. However, a historical line from Tabor to Bechyně uses 1.5 kV DC and a line from the southern Moravian city of Znojmo to the Austrian border uses the Austrian standard of 15 kV 16.7 Hz AC. The busiest railway corridor in the country is this one, leading to the east from Prague to the important rail hub of Česká Třebová. Česká Třebová is also the largest freight rail terminal in the country. As for passenger rail, the crown for the busiest station goes to Prague's main train station. Speaking of the Prague main train station, it wasn't always called this way. At first, it was named Emperor Franz Joseph train station after the Austro-Hungarian Emperor because the lands known today as the Czech Republic were part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. After Czechoslovakia noped out of the empire, the train station was named Wilson train station, named after the former US President Woodrow Wilson, who was one of the main supporters of an independent Czechoslovakia. During the Second World War, it was known as Prague main train station, or more precisely Prague Hauptbahnhof. After the war, the name was reverted back to Wilson train station. However, in the 50s, as the communist government consolidated power, the name was officially changed to Prague main train station, which has remained ever since. In 1990, the train station received the honorary name of President Wilson train station, but the official name used today is still Prague main train station. Continuing with Prague main train station, it was the site of the rescue of hundreds of Jewish children just before the breakout of World War II. A British organization, called the British Committee for Refugees from Czechoslovakia, and its most prominent member, Nicholas Vinton, organized evacuation trains for Jewish children from occupied Czechoslovakia. In the end, these so-called Kindertransports, excuse my absolutely horrible accent when speaking German, saved 669 children by evacuating them to Great Britain. Unfortunately, the last transport, scheduled to leave in early September, was stopped and returned back due to the outbreak of the Second World War. To honor Nicholas Winton and the BCRC's effort to save Czechoslovak children, a statue has been installed on platform 1 of the Prague main train station. Right now, as of August 2024, the maximum speed on Czech railways is 160 km or 99.4 miles per hour. However, some segments of lines are already built to a higher speed, but the legal speed limit, as of the time of recording, is still 160 km per hour. Right now, the Czech Republic doesn't have any dedicated high-speed rail. High-speed rail lines are being planned, although the opening is planned for the mid-2030s. And with how Czech construction projects go, I wouldn't be surprised if I had to make a video riding the high-speed rail lines from a retirement home. 
Prague has over 40 train stations, with the most prominent being the aforementioned main train station, as well as Prague Masaryk train station, named after the first president and one of the founders of Czechoslovakia, Tomáš Garik Masaryk. Speaking of Masaryk train station, it is currently in the process of being modernized, expanded and prepared for the new railway line to the airport. For some reason, of all the fast food options the Prague main train station could have, it has a Burger King. Why? Normally, when buying your ticket at the counter, you have to pay for a seat reservation on České dráhy trains. However, if you buy your tickets online, you get a free seat reservation for most trains. Most long-distance trains feature a restaurant carriage, serving everything from full meals, to beer, to hard liquor and others. Some trains also feature airplane-style food carts, with decent prices. For example, a hot chocolate I ordered when taking a train from Hep in the west of Czechia to Prague cost 25 Czech crowns, or 1 euro. In larger train stations, mostly in big cities, České dráhy operates lounges for passengers who travel in first class, hold passes, or are traveling on long-distance trains. I've never been in one. If you'd like me to explore such a lounge and make a video on it, leave a comment under this video. The longest fully domestic train line in the country is the cross-country trek from Františka Vylázně to Bohumín, taking 7 hours and 19 minutes, served by České dráhy Spendolino trains. However, there are longer international train lines, such as Regiojet's service from Prague to Rijeka, Croatia in the summer, or České dráhy's night trains from Prague to Zurich, Switzerland. Speaking of night trains, there are numerous night trains from Prague, such as a train to Zurich, Switzerland or Michalovce, Slovakia. Normally, this line goes all the way to the town of Humene, but due to the rail line being electrified and modernized, it stops at Michalovce. I have taken the aforementioned night train to Slovakia, and while the beds are really not made for people over about 185 cm or 6 foot 2, other than that, the experience was pleasant and I'd recommend it. The Czech Republic has the densest railway network in the world. Trains reach almost every small town and even lots of villages. The state-owned company that owns railway infrastructure in the country, Správa Železnic, has been on a train station modernization spree in Prague. For example, this is the station Praha Radotín before the modernization. And this is it after. Currently, as of August 2024, there are two types of tilting trains currently running on Czech railways. The ČD Class 680 Pendolino and the Deutsche Bahn Class 612. The story of the Czech video game Kingdom Come Deliverance happens in the Czech towns and villages of Stříbrná Skalice, Talmberg, Sázava, Rataje nad Sázavou, Úžice, Ledečko, Mrchojedy and Vraník. If you want to go on a tour of Kingdom Come Deliverance locations in real life, you can take a train to Stříbrná Skalice, Ledečko, Radlaje nad Sázavou and Sázava. The southernmost railway station in Prague is Praha Zbraslav, located in the southern district of Zbraslav. Some commuter rail lines in Czechia are served by these, ČD Class 471 electric multiple units, called City Elephant. However, a lot of lines are served by different rolling stock, such as this. As part of the plan to build a railway line to the airport, a fully-fledged public transport terminal is planned to be built in the northwest of Prague. The terminal will be called Terminal Dlouhá Míle and will feature a train station, tram stop, park and ride parking lots and a bus terminal. A redesign and reconstruction of Prague main train station is planned in the future. Its features include improvements to the infamous park in front of the building, building a tram line directly in front of the building and more. Hopefully, in the future, we will be able to appreciate the historical Art Nouveau building without a six-lane road right in front of it. The cheapest item a person can order in a České dráhy restaurant carriage is a small packet of either butter, Nutella, honey, jam or cheese for 20 Czech crowns or 0.9 euros. In comparison, the most expensive item is a seasonal three-course meal, costing 419 Czech crowns or 18.2 euros. Relatively recently, a train ticket valid for all partner train carriers, including private ones, was introduced, called One Ticket. Buying a One Ticket is quite convenient, since you can buy it through the Muy Vlak mobile app, which is, in my opinion, the best train app in the Czech Republic. The western city of Karlovy Vary has two main train stations, creatively called Horní nádraží and Dolní nádraží. 
literally upper train station and lower train station. Horní nádraží was renamed to just the city's name, Karlovy Vary, but Dolní nádraží still maintains its former name. The newest České dráhy train product is this, it's called Comfort Jet. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching to the end, you're a real legend. If you'd like to support my work, I have a Ko-Fi page with three membership tiers, all of which bring you sweet benefits, like early access to my videos. There are also affiliate links to the equipment I use to make these videos in the description. Any help would be greatly appreciated. I'd also like to take this time to thank Monday's Last Brain Cell and Aero Martian for supporting the channel with the top membership tier. I can't express how grateful I am for the support. Enjoy the bloopers, this has been Tramley and I'll see you next time, bye! The Czech railway network uses this. In 1990, the train station received the honor. Honorary. Words. <laughs> Even though it is certified to run up to 200 kilometers or 124. Bro. Numbers.